everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a review on the new Too Faced Peach Perfect Comfort Matte Foundation. If you do want to see a review and a demo, please keep watching. This is what the packaging looks like. It says Too Faced at the top, Peach Perfect, and Comfort Matte Foundation. And when you open up the packaging, you do get this squeezy tube. This is what the tube looks like and it comes with a pump on the bottoms. I did pick up two shades. I got the shade Honey and Sand. Honey was too dark and Sand was a little bit too light for my skin complexion, so I decided to pick up both of them and then maybe mix the foundation. This foundation claims to be oil-free, 14 hours of wear time, oil controlling, and shine free. So we're gonna definitely test this foundation out for the entire day. And then of course I'll be testing out the foundation for an entire week to see if I really do love the foundation and if this foundation is oil controlling. So this is what the shade sand looks like. We're just gonna blend this out. So sand looks a little bit too light for my skin complexion. Let's pump out the shade Honey to see what this looks like. On the other side of my hand, I'm just going to pump out the shade Honey. And that is what the shade Honey looks like. Let's blend this one out. So here we have Honey and here you have Sand. So I'm not sure. We're going to test this out on the face. This foundation does have a fragrance to it. It does smell like peaches. I haven't moisturized my face yet. So for moisturizer, I will be using my Drunk Elephant Hydra B Gel Moisturizer. Now that we already have our moisturizer on primer, I am going in with my No Problem Primer. This primer I love. This is one of my favorite primers. It just gets rid of all of the pores and it smooths out my face. This is what the shade sand looks like. We're going to pump out one pump of the shade honey. So see how sand is a little bit lighter than honey? But I feel like if we mix the two, it should match. I'm just going to take my damp beauty blender and we're just going to blend this in. So that's sand and I feel like it blended out but it's not my shade. Let's blend in a little bit of honey. Mm. I think we might have to mix the two. I'm going to take one pump of honey on the back of my hand and we're going to take one pump of sand. I pumped one pump of honey and one pump of sand and that's what you get. So let's see if this matches. Let's do one side of my face. Then we're gonna blend it out. I don't feel like this foundation does give a lot of coverage. But I know I have the foundation on. Maybe I need more of it. I want it to cover a little bit of my redness that I do have. I would say this foundation is not a full coverage foundation. It's a light to medium coverage. I did put some foundation on and this side of my face does not have any foundation. We're just going to roll with it and I'm just going to keep mixing these two foundations together until I like the right coverage. Using two pumps of honey and two pumps of sand got to my perfect matte. So this is what the foundation does look like. I'm going to be setting my face with the Kat Von D Lock It Setting Powder. I always use a damp beauty blender and just press it into my skin. We're not going to bake or anything. I'm just going to set the face. I already set my face using the Kat Von D Lock It Setting Powder in Translucent. I will be wearing this foundation for the entire day and I will check back in with you guys at the end of the night to see how this foundation wore. I will see you guys then. Guys, okay, so it is the end of the night of me testing out the Too Faced Peach Perfect Comfort Matte Foundation. 
and this is what it's looking so far as you guys can see that this foundation did leave me with a white cast on my face but i feel like it was the kat von d translucent powder which caused it i don't think it was a foundation itself but i will use this foundation with different setting powders and different setting sprays so i will let you guys know what's going on i do like how this foundation did make me matte throughout the entire day which i do like I did notice right here in my nose area, I am getting a little bit oily. I'm gonna zoom you guys in for a closer look. It's zoomed all the way in, and you guys can definitely see how this foundation did last throughout the entire day. I did work about eight and a half hours today here on my nose, that it is a little bit shiny, but other than that, I am matte. I really do like the, the staying power of this foundation. So I will be testing it out for the entire week, and I will see you guys then. Guys, right, so it is the end of the week of me testing out the Too Faced Peach Perfect Comfort Matte Foundation. I don't like this. I don't like this foundation. I'm currently wearing the shade Honey. I have not set it with any setting powder, setting spray, anything. Because this foundation leaves a white cast. You also see the white cast on my previous videos that I did upload this week. I'm wearing this foundation this entire week. Mixing the shade Sand and Honey didn't really do a thing for me. Um, the shade range is off. I don't like the shade. What I do like about this foundation is that it's oil controlling. It does keep me matte for about nine and a half hours. Like Too Faced needs to come out with more shades in this collection and they need to tweak the formula a little bit. It does have a scent to it. It's like a peach and fig scent, which I loved. But that scent does linger for a little bit. So if you don't like scents to linger, don't get this foundation. I cannot believe that I uploaded five times this week. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys did enjoy getting a video every day. Do you guys like more videos from me? you guys prefer me uploading Mondays and Fridays? I hope this review does help you guys out. And if you guys did enjoy this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. I will see you guys in my next video.